YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, and this is going to be another Air's faction focus, and this time we'll be talking about Syracuse. This is the last faction that was added in the uh, Hannibal at the Gates expansion. I know it's a little bit out of order. I was kind of working my way down the list, um, and some of you ask about Egypt and why it's down here. I think it's because the game file is called the Ptolemaic Empire, so even though it starts with an E, it's down here. Um, so, yeah, in any case, I had worked my way down to, I think, Mas Masegate? don't think I've done... I can't remember if I've done Nervii or not. I don't think I have. Uh, I'll look. But anyway, I did Sparta out of order, too, because they recently got a change. And we'll just continue the rest of these. But I wanted to get Syracuse in, even though they're out of order, because they were added in the Hannibal at the Gates and are relatively new. And they're a pretty interesting faction, to be honest. So let's take a look at the units they have to offer. Uh, it's interesting that a Thorax Hoplite would be... Um, your general, but hey, it's kind of a cheap way to get a general, and this is a pretty capable unit at 38 melee attack, 36 weapon damage. Um, not a real great charge bonus, but great armor and uh, decent health, pretty good morale, and you'd get an Encourage or a unit for fairly cheap that's capable of defending itself for a little while against almost any unit. Hippeus Lancer, of course, wouldn't be bad, and then you got a Picked Hoplite, which is a pretty strong Hoplite. This is going to be more like a Sacred Band unit. They do have a couple of sword units. Thorax swords have been buffed a little in the last patch, too, to be better reflective of their their price. Uh, they're still not great, but they're not bad. Uh, they'll do a lot better than they used to. They, I still think they get stomped by a Legionnaire, but a lot of units probably would get that way. Uh, Mercenary Samnite Warriors, this is an interesting unit. Their attack's not all that impressive, but they have huge armor, uh, like 85 armor. These guys are... Um, pretty beastly. It's not their shield value. I mean, they do have a good shield value, but they have 60 armor, which means they're going to be pretty resistant to melee attack because of that. Um, they have a 10 bonus versus infantry and a 25 charge bonus, which is pretty sturdy as well. Plus, they use the whip ability. Uh, obviously, Syracuse is like most Greek factions in the sense that they have a lot of selection when it comes to uh, different hoplite units, and there's a few that I'd like to make note of. Uh, they have these... Where is it? This... Alright, so Thorax Hoplites have a pretty high attack for the price. The only thing that's going to be better is Spartan Hoplites, uh, which of course aren't available to Syracuse. Uh, but, you know, they just have all these different options with the Hoplites, and they have Mercenary Etruscan Hoplites, which have a little less attack, but, um... And less defense, less morale, less charge, pretty much less everything. It would be beyond me why someone would use these guys, unless you're just really wanting to use them. Because it doesn't seem to make much sense. Uh, Mercenary Veteran Hoplites are a pretty strong unit, but, you know, you can get the same attack with the, the Thorax Hoplites. It's just that they're not going to have quite as much armor. These two units down here have really high armor, and, uh, you know, they're going to be very expensive. So, Hoplites are good, and just because their attack is as high as a sword unit, don't expect them to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, though, because remember the sword unit's going to have a bonus versus infantry, whereas the Hoplites have a bonus versus large. They do have Pike Infantry, which makes... Um, Syracuse kind of flexible in the sense that they can uh, pike people off. And they do have pretty good skirmishers. They have access to cheap javelinmen, archers, and slingers, as well as peltus, light peltus, and mercenary balearic slingers. Uh, in the cab department, they have um, you know access to shot cab, which is great. The Hippias Lancer is not a great unit, but it's pretty good. And they have access to this mercenary Campanian cab. This is not Companion cab, but uh, like from Campania in Italy. Uh, these guys are very tough cav. 69 melee attack, they are brutal. Um, so keep an eye out for them. It makes me wonder if they improved Aspis cav in this last one. I have to check that out. Let's go take a look at Macedon. Uh, you know, that's crazy. Aspis cav still costs more than these other guys. Um, but in any case, I, I didn't look at all their stats, though, so it may not be a fair comparison. Let's go back to Syracuse. So yeah, that pretty much does it for cav. They do have access to Skirmisher cav and Mercenary Tarantine cav. Skirmisher Cab doesn't have a very good attack, and with very little ammo, these guys are probably not going to be worth it, except for maybe trying to run elephants amok with Flaming Shot. Um, Tarantine Cab doesn't have the best melee attack, so you'd be paying extra for better missile attack, which, to be honest, again, at 7 ammunition, just don't see that being very worthwhile. Uh, but then again, I could be wrong. So let's go use Syracuse in a quick battle. And hopefully we can do alright. Uh, they're a somewhat flexible faction. Um, definitely not a power faction, but they're, they're, you know, like I said, they're pretty flexible because they have pikemen and access to sword infantry, good hoplites, decent cav, and decent skirmishers, so they're, they're definitely a usable faction. I don't know if you all have been playing in quick battle recently, but there's, uh, I've been getting matched up on a lot of the, the maps that have the wonders in the background, which is kind of interesting. 
Though the uh, the fortress at Bam, I don't know if they fixed it in the hot fix, but there was some interesting issues. My men were running around on it, and they were buried in sand, like you couldn't even see them. I uh, don't know if I got a screenshot of it or not, but I saved the replay. Um, just wasn't a very good battle, which is why I didn't post it. It wasn't all that interesting. But yeah, the Bam map is kind of unbalanced too, so it was an interesting one. But I played on the, the Statue of Zeus at Olympia map. That one was pretty cool. And then um, I think I played on... Of course, they have the pyramids still, and then I'm trying to remember the other one that I got to play on that map. I can't remember, but uh, there were some good ones. Well, am I going to get a match? This is going to be one of those nights where it seems like it takes forever to get into a match. Well, let's try again. Come on. Come on. Get me into a match here. Get me into a match. Good grief. Sometimes the matches are like instant, and sometimes it takes me so long to get in a match. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't know why. Matches were going really quickly not too long ago. Um, so I'm not sure what's changed, if anything. Maybe I'm just not playing at the time when most people are. Let's take a look at the, uh, the multiplayer battle list. Maybe we can just join someone's fight. Uh, no. Because no one's hosting an open... Well, this guy is land battle... Yeah, it's on the million funds, 25,000. That's too big. I don't like playing in the high funds. It's not very interesting, in my opinion, because people can bring more elite units. Um, let's go ahead and just type 1v1 and see if I can get a game started. I don't always have very good luck on these either. So let's host. And last time I was Sparta, of course. I'll switch to Syracuse, and let's select a map. I'm going to leave it on a Grand Campaign map. So just in case people don't have the, um... Dolmens of Karnak. What is that? I have never seen this map. Um, <laughs> interesting. Statue of Zeus at Olympia, Halicarnassus. Mausoleum at Halicarnassus. Cool. Haven't seen this one either. Whew, not really balanced. Um, if the attacker's coming from the north, that'll be fine, though, because we'll both be able to start somewhat on a hill... But that's only if I can get someone to join my game, which, as luck would have it, doesn't seem to be right now, which kind of crappy, because this is me recording live. Let's go! Good grief. When I need someone to join the battle, I can't get it. Or when I need a quick match, I can't get it. Let's try the quick battle one more time. Come on! Come on! Hopefully you all are fast-forwarding this, of course, once it's in video form, because it doesn't serve a lot of purpose. That's the main reason why I don't like doing these quick matches in the faction focus, because it's actually kind of hard for me to get the match, and I don't, I mean, I know I can do it and then record it and splice the two together, but then I have to use my um, editing, editing software, and it just takes extra time to edit a video, whereas my broadcasting software can capture and edit all at the same time, and just kind of handy. Well, good grief, folks. There we go. Goodness sakes, it's about time. Hopefully it's not one of the ones where it loads you into a team battle and then it crashes out every time. Alright, well apparently I'm playing a match against Napoleon, who has gone back in time. Let's go ahead and select Syracuse. Um, don't like... Ah! Oh, great! That happens to me way more often than I'd like. And I don't know if it's just a mistake, someone leaves the game, didn't want to be in it, or if it's like they see me and leave because they're worried about getting recorded. I have no idea. We'll see. I do have another match, so it'd be funny if it's the same guy. That happens sometimes. People leave the game, then I get matched right back against them, and then they leave again. Switch to Syracuse. Oh, it's the freaking Lamona map. I hope this one got revised a little, because I hated this map in past patches. I'm not going to go real heavy on skirmishers because it's this map. Let's see. So, let's go ahead and build up a, an army here. I'm gonna, if he's going to stay as Rome, yeah, and he is, it's going to be challenging. I'm going to bring some mercenary com uh, Campanian cav, quite a bit of it actually. And then I'll just get some thorax hoplites uh, to form kind of a base for my line. Uh, this army's a little bit risky right now. The real question is, do I want skirmishers? Because I think this map's pretty forested, and my guys are going to be pretty resistant to missiles. Maybe what I should do is just go ahead and bring a few swords. Oh, I can afford one more unit. Um, 
sure what else to bring. I'll just bring a couple of militia hoplites. Um, this will have to do. It's going to be a rushed army. Just kind of hoping my uh, mercenary Campanian cav can either get into his swords, which would be great, or uh, potentially... Oh, you know what? I didn't bring anything to deal with elephants. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I really hope this guy didn't bring elephants. <laughs> this is going to be bad. This is going to be an air raffle stomp if he brought elephants. Because I really don't have any way to stop them. Great. Didn't even think about that. Well, because of the deployment bug, um, I either he'll get to see my army or I'll get to see his. Kind of just depends on which side of that you're on. Man, I hate this map. I really dislike this map. It's just so dang forested. And you can't see very good on them, which is part of the reason why I don't like it. So it doesn't make for a very cinematic experience, unfortunately. But, I mean, some people like these maps so that they can do a lot of uh, maneuvering with barbarian tribes and stuff. The main reason I don't like it is just because the balancing of it's kind of weird. It's just, like, really uphill headed this way. And very downhill coming this way. There is this area out here where you can fight in the open, but, I mean, the, the terrain's definitely kind of mismatched. Not, I mean, not every map has to be balanced, though. I mean... If every map was balanced, it'd get old. I like a few unbalanced, but I don't know. I just, I guess for some reason, I just don't like this one. And it looks like my opponent's going to get to see my deployment. Because I can't see his. That is a bug that I hope goes away. And what I'll do is just put my, uh, put my Thorax Swordsman right behind these hoplites. Just use the militia to help support the flanks. And just kind of a basic rush deal here. I mean, I'm pretty sure he can see my army right now, but hopefully I can get my companion Kim Cav into a good position. I'm going to go ahead and start. Say good luck, have fun. I don't feel too bad about readying up because he readied it up while I was still picking my army, but... I don't real feel real great about this army, to be honest. It's a force map, which is going to slow down the charges of my melee cav, so fortunately it's a melee cav. But that should help my spearmen to take down his cav, because they're going to be slowed down and have their charges slowed down. So, And to be honest, if I can get this Campanian cav into some of his legionnaires, it'll do extremely well. It's extremely expensive, though, so I'd have to pay off. And then my thorax swords and thorax hoplites can hold off for a pretty good long time. But, I mean, they're definitely going to be inferior to Roman infantry. Then, like I said, the biggest thing I'm worried about is if he brought elephants. Because if he brought elephants, then I am in huge trouble. I don't know why my opponent took so long to set up his army, but picked his picked his army real fast. Just waited until time ran out here. So let's see if he was indeed ready. Okay, let's see. None of his units are visible. They're all hidden. All of mine are hidden as well, though. That's another reason why I don't like this map. Because you can't see anything ever. <laughs> so, my opponent must have deployed here for all of his stuff to remain hidden. Because I don't think he could have deployed that far forward. So, it's either here or here, one of the two. We'll see. I don't want to get my cab engaged too early and potentially lose them. I must have had my companion cab on the wrong flanks. Yeah, because a couple of them switched flanks. Okay, Roman troops are becoming visible, and he is actually deployed clear over there. So... Let's actually keep my companion cab hidden. So he wants to fight on open ground. That's fine. It'd be more. It'll be better that way anyway. Levis, Bellates, Praetorian Guard. Four units of them. Definitely gonna have to get my Campanian Cav into those guys if I have any prayer of pulling off a victory here. It is still very much possible that my opponent deployed troops here. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out. I just don't want my. Um, I don't want to use my cav to scout it out, because I want to keep my Campanian cav hidden. I'd prefer to uh, make my opponent think fast, basically, whenever I decide to finally use it. And sorry, you're going to have to watch this. I am going to have to run across the, basically the entire map. That's going to be 
kind of a pain. Riders on me. None of my units are visible to him still, too, so he's going to have no idea where I'm at. So I'll keep marching towards him, though. Okay, he does have a lot of um, a lot of cheap javelin men. Don't expect these guys to be wildly, you know, good against my uh, my heavily armored units. So he's got one Vigile and one... Uh, I'm trying to think if this is his whole army. So two, three, four... So armored legionnaires, I think, are like 900, maybe? Eight or nine? Three Praetorian Guard at like 1,300, so that's 3,900. Let's do those guys another 1,800. Hmm. It's just like 5,000, those are cheap. He definitely has more units somewhere. Yeah, he definitely has more units somewhere. So I might need to watch my back. So one thing he may have done was he may have deployed here on purpose to try and get me to come so that he can then hit me from the rear with the units hidden up here. And I will keep an eye out for that. In fact, I may keep some of my swordsmen from coming out into the open so that they can stay there and potentially uh, fend off any rear assault. Of course, that rear assault might be made by cavalry. So, if my opponent is planning an ambush, let's spring it. I'm gonna charge forward. And I'm gonna bring these guys here. I'm gonna leave my uh, pull my general up to assist. And I'm gonna leave my team of militia hoplites back here with my swords. My opponent doesn't have long range, though. So our hidden units have been discovered. He is going to have to advance in order to hit me. If I commit all my cav early, it could be devastating, but it could also be a mistake because he's going to have skirmishers. And he has spears nearby, so it might be best for me to just front charge, pin his guys down, and then hit him from behind with the Campanian Cav. Okay, let's get this thing done. Our general is under attack. Okay, he's got Cav coming out of hiding. Don't see elephants yet. Not even interested in his levis at this time. Mercenary Campanian Cav got caught up on a Praetorian guard. Okay, he's got an auxiliary Numidian Cav coming out of hiding there. No concern to me. Put these guys out. Campanian Cav engaged out here. This one's engaged with a bunch of uh, spear infantry, so I'm going to pull it out. come through this gap that's here. My mercenary Campanian cab is going to hold off these auxiliary cab all right. I got hung up. Didn't get a lot of cab rear charges yet, unfortunately. I'm going to go try and break this unit down here that's weak. Try and keep my uh, cab moving here. Take these militia hoplites out of formation attack. The men are wavering. Can engage the Roman general. My Campanian cab's wavering over here. Engage with Triari down there. Dang it, my general's dead. We have a uh, 
Sake Equite coming in here. Let's chase it off if we can. And his Sake Equite chooses to charge my Militia Hoplites, which is fortunate for me. Okay. The swords are free. And his Sake Equites are dying here. I'm not doing all that great though either, but I should be able to pin down some of his cav and then hit these guys from behind. Let's just use my general to fend off any cav rear charges here. This Praetorian guard is beasting. Okay, let's knock out these uh let's knock out this unit of armored legionnaires here, it's about to give way. Yeah, that Praetorian Guard unit's taking a little damage now because it's surrounded. Those are some tough guys, though, so don't expect an easy, uh, easy win for myself there. The enemy general is dead. Enemy general is dead. That's gonna help me. His levies uh, just didn't have a high enough attack um, to really hurt me too bad. It's not over yet, though. My opponent still has quite a bit of infantry down here in this vicinity. But it's definitely looking up for me. Let's bring these Thorax Hopotes down here into this fight. He's got some of my units pinned down up there with skirmishers, which I don't really like, but let's uh, get some outflanking going on here. Okay, I've got a Mercenary Companion Cav free here. Sweet. This is actually going to turn out alright. I think <laughs> there's a Praetorian Guard still in here that's in pretty good shape. We're really going to have to hope for a morale blow, which is not guaranteed. And those levies are not even worth my time anymore. I'm going to pull off from that attack. Let's get into the back of this Praetorian Guard. And that Praetorian Guard's starting to break. Holy cow, folks. We actually pulled it off. Let's watch these Praetorian Guard fighting for their life here. Because, I mean, they are very tough and they still very much concern me. But, fortunately, they're all starting to waver. And that Triarii... That Triarii is only down to 91 men in this whole fight. These guys just last and last, it seems like. It's kind of amazing. He could still potentially fight his way out of this, though. My uh, mercenary Campanian cab has 181 kills though, which is great. I'm gonna bring this other one in, and we're just gonna have to continually make sure that we're outflanking because I don't want to get blobbed up. The blob would help his men. Okay. Yeah, the units he has left are tough. <laughs> they are formidable units. He's got 66 Praetorian Guard left. And I'm going to be trying to take him out with uh, Thorax Swordsman. My best bet right here, to be honest, is this um, Mercenary Campanian Cav. With a flying wedge at the last second. Got a good charge into this Praetorian Cav. And let's bring these Thorax Swords clear around the fight. Triarii are starting to waver. He's used the whip on his Praetorian Guard, which is going to help tire them down. But it will give them higher attack momentarily. But... I can do the same thing here. Get a rear charge on his Praetorian Guard. Wow, those guys fought like dragons. Really impressed with the way the Praetorian Guard fought there. And with me not having brought any skirmishers capable of helping to soften them up, I mean, it just came down to having to beat them down hand-to-hand, -hand, which was uh, quite a challenge. So, great game. So, good game to my opponent. It was worth the wait. That was kind of a fun one. Let's see uh, what the statistics turned out to be there. I do need to save this one, though. Just in case I want to see the replay later in battle. Oh, yeah. Uh, these two mercenary companion cab doing great. These two got caught up in situations where they shouldn't have been. That was a lot of denarii or er, talents to waste. My thorax swordsmen, two of them paid off big time. This thorax hoplites right here got a lot of kills, and so did this one. Not sure what they were fighting against, but they did good. Um, my general, not so good. 104 kills for this militia hoplites. Maybe it got into a skirmish unit or something. Uh, let's see, for him, this Armored Legionnaire did pretty uh, pretty admirably. Um, this Triarii did very admirably. Uh, this Praetorian Guard did good. So did this one. Uh, but you think about the Praetorian Guard, it would have to kill two of my units to pay off. 
two of these type of units, which they basically did. So, I mean, that was that was pretty close. His skirmisher's not causing much damage. Velite's got a few kills. The levy is, you can see, are just too weak. Um, none of his cavalry was really getting a whole lot of kills either. Uh, I was having to be used against my mercenary campanion cab, which really beat it down. So that actually worked out fairly nice. Um, hope you all enjoyed this, Air of Carthage. Or, uh, let's go back and do one quick last thing. I know this video is kind of long, but... Um, one last follow-up here. So, Syracuse, uh, a good faction, kind of just... Um, they're kind of a middle-of-the-road faction. They, they've got a little bit of everything, a little bit of swords, you know, good spears. I guess, if anything, their focus is on spears. Uh, decent skirmishers and capable cavalry. So they could be used in a number of different situations. So I guess, in, in theory, you could use them against just about anybody. It doesn't mean that you're going to have an advantage uh, in every situation, but just, you know, they're a pretty well-rounded faction. Anyway, Air of Carthage, signing off for now.